All right, welcome everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to change tiles in your Angular application correctly, I guess, like the latest and greatest uh, new way of doing it, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I just uh, created a new application with the ng new command, right? And then I've also created two components, which you know should indicate two pages. So we have home components and contact us components. And these are just, you know, empty components pretty much. You know, there's just nothing except these like two navigation buttons and also the uh, just homepage text and as well as contact page text, right? So if I go to the app, I just, you know, ran ng-surf to run the app. And then if I click home, it goes to home, contact us, it goes to contact us, right? So this is pretty standard routing thing. Um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with, with the routing logic in Angular. So um, yeah, with these kind of pages, the easiest way to set up your titles is to just do it in the routing. That's it. So uh, I think in past like since two years ago or something maybe angular how much is it now angular 14 or something i'm not sure but ever since then you can just put title in the routing so that's pretty convenient right so let's just say home right then you can also say in here title as um contact right contact us oops contact us okay so if i do that then it just turns the title into home. And then if I go to contact us, it changes to contact us, right? So which is pretty convenient. So this is like the um, the best way of doing it, right? But the pro problem with this is that it's not dynamic, right? So for example, like what if I have a page that, you know, uh, shows people's posts or show people's um, problems and comments and stuff like that, right? So you wouldn't want those titles to be changed dynamically, right? So in that case, it is going to be a little bit more complicated. So let's just dive into how to do that, right? Okay, let's do that. Um, so I think the best way to handle those situation would be to just create a service. So it's ng, um, uh, ng, G is create you generate right and then s would be service so and then i like to have like a services folder and then i can just say hey i want to create a tail title service so this is command oh i have to go into the folder and then run the command so this generates a title service for us and then let's just go into that right so this is the title service so from here you can basically just uh, you know uh change the title from this service. And let's just do that. Uh, instead of using the uh, this logic, right, we can also use this service to change the titles. And then let's just try that, right. So I'll just create like a set title function in here. And then the title comes in, right, it's a string. And then we have to inject a title so changing service. So which is called like, oh, I'll just do like title, right? Uh, maybe it's a bad name title service, I guess. But that's also a bad name. <laughs> uh, let's just the title, I guess. Um, inject. This is the new way of injecting, right? And then it just do title, which comes from the Angular platform browser. So this service will allow us to change title. So we could just do this dot title dot set title, and then just say title, right? This comes in, and then I'm just gonna set the title. And we don't need the constructor at this point, so we just have this, and there you go. So you have your title service. Now I have to inject these uh, services into our home component or the contact us component, right? So let's just do it at the home component. Um, so for here, I have to inject the title service. So let's just do that. Title service equals inject title service, right? So, okay, now it's injected. I guess I have to inj import the inject. Um, okay, cool. And then on the uh, constructor, I guess, so I can just change it. This dot title service dot set title do something like hey home or something right so let's just do that and see if it works so go let's go to home and then i think it overwrites it so let's just get rid of that uh so let's just do this and then hey home so yeah now there you go so this is the way you change it programmatically i guess <clears throat> but what happens if you you know have to change the title dynamically right so <clears throat> this is exactly what you want uh, whenever you call an API, right, then you just have to change the title according to that API, essentially. So um, I guess I can make an example API call. Uh, let's just do, hmm, what would be the easiest API call? Uh, I guess I could use my own example. So pipe up.com, 
problems. So I have a bunch of APIs in here. You don't have to worry about these. I'm just gonna try to like mock like a get API in here. So I'm just gonna need to get the path at numbers, I think. All right, so I think this is the one. Cool. So if you see the response, right? So the response, I just need to, um, what is the title here? So I just need this title, essentially. Like I want to change the page according to this title, right? So I could just do that. Um, so <laughs> I think that's my washing machine that's completed. So please ignore that. Uh, it's going to take a while. So <laughs> uh, let's just copy this uh, path for now. Um, okay, cool. Uh, on the home page, I can do. So let's just. Uh, oh no, I have to inject it. HTTP service, right? So I can just inject the HTTP client, and then what I can do is that HTTP dot um, get, and then this is gonna be my get, right? And then dot subscribe is gonna give me the data, and then on here basically I can just change the title. But this is gonna be from our dot data dot title. I think that's what. Oh, not data. It's a result. Okay, it's a result. So this is giving me type error. So I think the neat little hack that you can do is just say, hey, this is gonna be like any title, which you know is a bad practice. But you know, for this, oh, it's D. Okay, let's just say R. Okay. What is it? Demonstration. I think it's enough. So yeah, let's just do that and see what happens. Hmm. I think I have to import the HTTP client module in here, which I think I have to do it in here. Providers, right? So provide HTTP client like that. Okay, cool. Yes. So you can see, uh, after I do the provide HTTP client, you can see the title changed dynamically, right? So this is exactly what you want basically. So uh, there you go. <clears throat> this is the you know example of a title service, but I think we can do even more. So a lot of websites. <clears throat> sorry, I have a little bit of cold um, now, but now it's getting better. So uh, a lot of websites, if you look at it, right? So let's just do like maybe YouTube, I guess. Oh, not YouTube. YouTube is a terrible idea. Um, what should I do? Gmail is not okay. Let's just do IMDb, I guess. So if you see a lot of sites, right? It has like uh, different schemas per title, I guess. So let's just do like this movie, for example. You have your um, title, right? The man from uncle. And then also there's like a dash IMDB, right? So there's your branding, I guess. So I think that's a really good idea to have. So that we can just do what we can do is like, hey, where, where's what's our brand, right? So brand is going to be, or maybe like, let's just do pipe up, right? And then in here, what I can do is like, okay, whenever I change the title, what I can do is, um, just add like brand at the end, right? So what I can do is mm, title and then brand, right? So this also works. So I can just do this dot brand. So let's just try that. So now you can see that your, your website name is going to be at the end. But there's also like a bunch of layers on top of those. So let's just try to do maybe there's a page inside here. No, it doesn't. Okay, see. So there's like nested titles, right? So you have the name and the full cast and crew. That's going to be like your secondary title, right? And then the last layer you have your brand. So in that case, you can just do this. Okay, so what I can do is like secondary. And that's going to be like default empty string, right? So instead of doing this, you know, bit, whatever you can do is like just do, we have title. We have secondary, and then we have this dot brand, right? So just make that make this into an array, and then you can simply filter it. You know, filtering allows us to that filtering this like empty string, right? You can be optional, and then what you can do is just say join with the dash, right? So you can just do this, and then this will just work fine. Add two numbers, pipe up. It's works working as expected, but if you can do um, you can now also do like secondary titles, right? So a secondary title, maybe it's like this it's going to be the problem solution tab or something, right? So if I do this, then it's going to be like add two numbers, solution, 
pipe up, right? So this is going to be really, really important in a lot of sites. Um, <clears throat> but I guess like uh, there can be like third or fourth, but I think, you know, pri primary and secondary titles are like um, the most common. I don't think there should be like third because it's just going to be crowded, right? So this is more than enough that you can do. Okay, so yeah, that has been the title service. And then, you know, you know be sure to uh, use these kind of services. It, it makes your application much, much cleaner, much, much easier to navigate. And, you know, it makes more sense, right? It's just clean uh, the way to do this. So um, with uh, static sites, this approach, like putting it into router is a really good idea. But for dynamic sites, it's like not so much a good idea because you just have to change it all the time, right? So that's it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And then see you. Bye-bye.